bringing the inanimate object to life. I mean, it's, I mean it starts with Lutzo Jr., I guess. Even I did a, a student film at CalArts about a lamp, a lamp shop where the lamps are alive. Um, with, with cars, I was very inspired by um, the idea of bringing cars alive. Now, we've seen cars animated before, but I was especially inspired by my favorite, one of my favorite Disney cartoons, Susie the Little Blue Coop. Do you remember that one? Susie the Little Blue Coop. Susie the Little Blue Coop. All right. Okay. And it was, um, what the Disney animators did differently really, really inspired me. When everybody looks at a car, the front of an automobile, the natural face, the eyes are in the headlights. Right? Everybody kind of sees that. When I bring an inanimate object to life, the first thing I identify on any, any object is what is the face of the object? What will be, where will the eyes be, where is the face? Because whether or not the object has eyes, it, the, the face is the window to the soul of the character. It's where you will get the acting. With the, the headlights as eyes of the front of the car, it means that the face of the car is just down on the very front. And then the whole body of the car is laid out behind it, and it's more like a snake. What the Disney animators did in Susie, the little blue coop, is they moved the, the eyes into the windshield. And what that did is change the entire vehicle to be the head of the car. And it's nicely placed over the four tires like a four-legged character. And as an animator, I looked at this as you have a, a lot more opportunity for acting and using the tires as kind of hand gestures and so on, and sometimes almost like running like a four-legged character. And so it gave us so much more opportunity to bring the character to life and using the whole car instead of it kind of laid the face with the body laid out behind us. And this worked fine because what we were creating was a world where there's no humans, that the cars were the living creatures. And it really gave us the ability to, to you know, make the entire car the, the living creature. And that's why it's hard to, to in our world, to bring um, convertibles to life because it's like, you know, opening it and seeing their brain, or the, <laughs> or even motorcycles. Everybody, a lot of motorcycle fans. Why aren't there motorcycles in there? And it's like it's hard to figure out where, you know, the the head of the character is on that. So it's, um, but that's sort of an example of, of looking at an inanimate object and bringing it to life and in cre helping create the world. You know, where it's a believable world where cars are alive.